Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we're gonna do a quick get ready. I don't know how quick it's gonna be. I'm lying, okay? Um, we're gonna do a get ready with me. I have to go out. I wanna do something simple, but like easy, but also like, I keep saying but. Today's word is but. Okay, all jokes aside, I wanna do something simple and easy. And at the same time, I kind of want a pop of color and I want it to be like glam. We're just gonna dive on in and play around with some products. Some products are new, some products I've used. I'll show you every single thing that I'm using so that you can like stay, oh my God, I'm out of breath. <sighs> so that you can like be in the know, you know, cause I know you guys wanna know. So um, all the Girl Lactic products I'm showing you guys today and I'll be using are all brand new Girl Lactic sent it to me in PR, which I'm really, really grateful for. They sent over this, which I didn't even know they had, but it's their Girl Lactic. Creme de la Glow, and it looks like this, and it looks like a nice color. So we're gonna use this as a base. If we can open it. Eh. I don't know if this is too yellow for me. I don't know how this works again. You know, I've never tried this before, but we're just gonna um, apply a little bit. Ooh. No, I think this is good. Okay, what shade are you? It says skin body shimmer, but I don't, oh, never, never mind. This one is in the shade Soleil, that's the name. It is. It looks kind of copper, but when it goes on the skin, it looks pretty. I do like that J-Lo glow that we all kind of want, especially now that it's getting warmer out. So we're just gonna pop this on the skin and hope for the best. I'm skipping primer today, of course. Girl, <laughs> I like the effect. I like that a lot. I look glowy. Mm. For foundation, we're gonna use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter in 290. This is like a spot on shade for me. I was gonna skip the foundation, but I just feel like I, I need a little bit of something. So we're just gonna do one pump. I usually do two and it covers the entire face, but this foundation is so freaking awesome, like the formula. So we're just gonna do one pump just so that I can get some nice coverage, uh, but nice and light coverage. Can I just say, whenever you're feeling a little ill, like under the weather and stuff, just avoid Google at all costs. Try to see if you can like reach out to your doctor as I did or something, because every time you Google like your side effects or a rash or something, Google tends to like automatically direct you to the links where it's telling you like you have the worst case scenario. And if you're anything like me, with which I think most people just automatically are like worrisome people, especially when it comes to their health or like a loved ones, you're gonna automatically be like, oh my God, I'm dying. And um, I got some lab work done. I got my results. <laughs> they went onto an app and I'm like trying to research. Like what, what is this? What is that? What is, you know, X, Y, and Z? <laughs> and I promise you. I was like, oh no, it's red. Everything else was in black letters and then some other ones had like red bold letters and had an H on it and I was like oh my god what does this mean and I'm like googling it and they're like well you know it could be traced to a disease it could be you know leukemia it could be and I'm sitting here like oh my god oh my god oh my god so I ended up reaching out to my doctor's office who reviewed everything and they were like you have nothing to worry about all of that is normal in pregnancy I was like I'm worried for what for concealer I am going to use the Jeffree Star Cosmetics concealer in C18 I know, everyone has their own opinion with regards to J-Star and all that good stuff. We all do. <laughs> but it's not about the person, it's about the specific concealer and bought it some time ago and I really, really liked it. So I'm not just gonna throw it out. You know, I just like the coverage and I like how it like brightens under the eyes. Not that there aren't other concealers that do the same thing, but your girl spent some money on it, okay? Okay, okay. Still looks very natural. You can still see like my little freckles and stuff. We're good. I'm gonna go in with the Bella Pierre Banana Powder, which I've been obsessed with. Okay, I got it in my AIA Beauty Bundle. It is still available. I have a link in the description box if you're interested so you can save some money. I get nothing out of it, but the fact that you guys get to save some money. So yeah, you wanna sign up and check it out. Go ahead and do so. I've been ignoring all my translucent powders ever since I opened this one. And I know it's sad because I'm neglecting the other ones, but I'm like loving this one right now. So we'll stick with this one. I recently purchased the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze Brow Wax. She looks like this. It's been forever since I've tried and every single time that I try it either sells out fast or it's out of stock, I went to a store. It's just this whole thing. But I have a spoolie here from Benefit Cosmetics and I'm just gonna dip it in there and then I'm gonna do one of these. Do you need this? No, 
you you really don't like you really really don't but i was curious about it so i ended up buying it and i so love it because it doesn't make your brows like crunchy. If you over apply, it is going to make it kind of white in a, in a way. And it does that tend to like uh, flake off eventually. Like at the end of the day, I would say, if you like touch your brows and your face a lot, like I do. But I love how it gives you like that soap brow effect. I do like that. So it lays them nice and flat. I'm working on regrowing my brows and kind of like reshaping so they look a little fuller so that I can ultimately have like the shape that I want. In the meantime, you know, we, we're gonna worry about what we got. So you see, you're able to just comb them up and they just stay the way they are, which I love. Lightly apply like this. Give it like a minute or two. Not that you need to let it set, but I like to let it sit for a minute or two and then move on uh, with the rest of my face. And then I return to Le Brows. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to go in with my hula. Hula la. Where's my brush? I gotta clean my brushes. I'm just gonna do one of these. Oh, I didn't tell you guys. So I am going to have um, tape and extensions put in by yours truly over here. Never done it before. We will see how it works. I've been doing my homework. I've been doing my research and we're gonna try that out. I feel confident enough to like that I can do it, but I'm pretty excited for it because I love having my extensions in. But you know, when you have clip-ins, you are unable to sleep with them because with time it causes damage to your scalp. It's time I dive in and try the tape-ins and see if I love it or not. I think I'm gonna love it though. I honestly do think I'm gonna love it because I'll have that freedom to do what I want to the hair and not have to worry about damaging my own, you know? So that's what I'm looking forward to. We're gonna see what happens, but I'm so excited for that. My brows should be pretty good to go now and so that I can move forward, of course. So I'm gonna use the Benefit per, 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 per. the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade number six, which is a cool black. I actually own five, I believe. I believe it's five and it's the gray. This one's the cool black. It does have a spoolie on the opposite side and it is one of the fine tipped uh, brow pencils, more like a, like a pen tip. And I'm gonna keep my brows super like natural. So I'm just gonna fill in wherever you see the gaps. Cause again, I don't wanna look overly done, but I wanna look like I tried, you know? So just gonna do one of these. That's a good shade for me. And see my brow looks instantly better. So um, that's a nice combination. And this is a really good shade for me. So I really like it. The gray also works, but you know, the gray and the number six are really good shades for me. I apply just a little bit of concealer so I can clean out the brows a little bit so they don't look as funky. At some point, I promise I will go ahead and, and, and I clean them up and wax them. I do them myself at home. But I just, right now, I just, I've been so busy. So, see, instantly better. You'll never know that there's hair there. This is the Galactic uh, Metallic Eye Sparkle in the shade Drama. Never tried it before. They just sent it over. So we're gonna go ahead, dive on in, try this baby and see how it works. What I noticed and am digging is the fact that it looks pretty dark, but it's kind of on the sheer end. So we're gonna go ahead and just tap this out here because I don't wanna overdo it. And I'm gonna use a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna pat it in place. And then we're gonna blend it out. Mm. Okay, so the more you blend it out, it looks kind of like gunmetal, which I'm okay with. Okay, good, because I wanted to use this in conjunction with a different product, different shade that I have. So that's gonna work. I really like that. Now let's move on to a Charlotte Tilbury product. This is their Pillow Talk. Um, I guess it's like a pressed pigment shimmer thing. I'm gonna dip my finger into it. Look how pretty that is. It's just like really like sheer but light and baby pink, and it works so well with this darker shade. Use my finger to drag it in place. I'm gonna bring it up in this area, so it'll lighten everything up. But yeah, I'm so excited for these like uh, extensions, because then that means it's less work, and I'll have long hair long-term, because my hair is getting really, really long. It's just a matter of being patient, and I don't wanna continue to like add heat to my own hair, so I don't mind doing that to like the extensions. And yeah, I also find that I'm so much sassier, <laughs> so much sassier when I have hair extensions in. Like it's almost like my confidence, it's like there. 
I don't know why, but it's the truth. So yeah, I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty uh, Double Ended Liner. This is the Life Liner and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so the whole point is, y'all know what this is. You have a liquid liner on one side and the pencil one on the other. I'm gonna grab my little external mirror over her and we're just gonna wing it out. Now that the wing is on and my eyes look like they're getting ready to fly away, I'm gonna go ahead and prep my lashes. I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna use the NYX Voluptuous Mascara. I just wanna like darken them up. You know what I'm noticing? That Huda Beauty um, liner is making it look as though maybe, maybe it's time I like retired this one and opened the new one. Cause it's making it look like I didn't fill it in all the way, but I did, okay, I did. What it is, is that now it, for some reason it has like a shiny finish, which it was always very matte. So maybe that's a hint, girl. Throw me out and open my sister, she's brand new. So I'm gonna work on that because I have a brand new backup waiting to be used. So um, yeah, I just wanted to coat my lashes on the top very, very lightly. I wanna pop a little bit of mascara on the bottom portion of the eyes. Again, I'm not trying to dramatize this look more than what it's going to be like on the lip. Wait till you guys see the lip color. I've talked about it before. I've been using it for a long time now and it's my favorite, favorite, favorite um, brand and shade of this like shade family, but still. <laughs> and I really don't wanna overdo it. So I wanna keep the bottom of the eyes pretty simple. Okay, now we can move on to lashes, which you guys know I always say that lashes will always elevate a look and it just polishes it so well and it makes it look like you tried so so hard when you really didn't and it just so happens that the lashes i'm going to be using to elevate this look is by today's video sponsor the queen lash box i've mentioned them before i'll mention it again okay go watch the other reviews and look at those looks before and then after i applied the lashes guys <laughs> These lashes are bomb. First of all, this packaging is everything. Okay, look how like pretty this is, but at the same time, you're going to get a little bit of everything. You're gonna get some drama, you're gonna get light and fluffy, you're gonna get some simpler, kind of like more sparse ones. So you're definitely gonna get a style to fit your need no matter what. The subscription is $19.99 a month with free shipping and you get a free beauty product with every delivery, which I think is absolutely amazing. The beauty gift you get is going to vary every single month. This time around, they sent over a lip butter and I'm wondering whether or not they're like, girl, you got some dry ass lips. So we're gonna go ahead and just moisturize these real quick. No, all jokes aside though, this is coming in handy because I was like feeling self-conscious about the fact that my lips are like feeling and looking pretty dry. I was looking at them and I feel like I wanna use Pretty Queen just because, look at her. I mean, really, and I think it's gonna go with this look. Now I'm gonna do one eye so that you guys can see how, like what difference it makes. And I guess if you don't understand why I'm obsessed with lashes, I think me doing that is gonna help you figure out why. I quickly wanted to show you guys the lash band. It is so dark and matte, but it's very, very flexible and easy to apply. Now, the lashes are going to fit so many eye sizes. For me, my eyes look pretty big, but they're not. So I tend to just like snip off like a little corner out of the outer ends just to make sure that they're gonna fit me nicely. I used to have this issue with lashes where it would prick me at the like inner corners and it was so uncomfortable. I learned that my eyes can be sensitive and or picky when it comes to lashes. But if it's a lash band like the Queen Lash Box Lash Band, where it's still flexible, but nice and thick, and it just doesn't prick me on the inner corners and I really appreciate that. I'm gonna pop these babies, lay them right to bed, and adjust them a little bit. That was just placement. They're not like actually tucked in for like the rest of the day and now look go cool. look how pretty i mean look at the difference right again i'm gonna adjust them but there's definitely a difference already my lashes are on and ready to go as you guys can see like tell me the look is not a lot better with these lashes on because i like hands down yes if you want to sign up for the queen lash box make sure you check the description box down below i'm linking their website down below as well as a discount code if you guys want to save a little bit of money and a special thanks to the Queen Lashbox for sending over the lashes and sponsoring this segment of the video because 
I love you guys, so thank you very much. Now let's move on to the next porcion of this video, which is another Galactic product. Now it looks the same as the other one that I own, but no, it's so different. This here is the Chiqui Tint and Glow in La Vie. And I love this color. Is it not like everything? I just have to find like a brush, a nice brush. So this is like a dual fiber one. But look at this orange. Is it not everything? I'm just gonna do one of these. This is like the perfect like orangey coral for spring and I'm so excited for it. So let's just, oh. It's a cream, more of a like a cream to powder. It smells good by the way. I don't, I don't know. It smells good to me. So we're just gonna flush up the cheeks a little bit of cheeks. And I think when it comes to cream products, if you're not gonna use a sponge lightly, your best bet is to use a dual fiber because it lifts a little bit off of the pan or like just the right amount and then you're able to dust it onto your skin. As you guys can see, I'm looking like a peachy, peachy, peachy mama. So we're gonna go ahead and just blend this out. But I don't mind it because then I'm gonna go in with the highlighter. I'm gonna use my finger and we're gonna tap that highlighter on top have it melt onto the skin. Ooh, I forgot to tell you guys. So I did get a lot of questions on what it is that I've been doing to my skin. Do I remove my peach fuzz? Because like my makeup just looks like it glides on. And yes, I do. You see, so like putting the highlighter on top of like that peachy orange completely toned down like the, the, how elevated that color was. And for those of you wondering, the little contraption that I use is this, is the Gloss Medics. Um, it looks like this, I think. I think. I might have gotten it in FabFitFun as an add-on, or it could have been like a BoxyCharm add-on thing as well. But it looks like this. You just turn it on and it doesn't like hurt or anything. It doesn't fully like, I don't know, like it just, it just like whatever's on the surface of your skin, it does remove that hair. So your, 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 your skin is gonna look like nice and like, I've been using that for a while and um, I used another contraption, but it was much smaller before then, which is why I upgraded to this like more round one. And my hair's not growing up any coarser, any thicker, any faster or anything like that. So I, um, it, it works for me. That's what I'm gonna say. And the reason why I do that is because I feel like my moisturizers, my serums, my primers, my makeup, everything just goes on a lot better. It is easier to exfoliate my skin because I don't have the peach fuzz in the way. And it's just like, everything looks so much better like without the peach fuzz. So that's why I do it because I don't like the powders just sitting on the surface of the skin, if you know what I mean, because then it starts to look kind of dry. And finally, we're gonna work on the lips. I removed the lip balm because the lip shade that I'm gonna put on doesn't need any help, okay? I absolutely love it. Y'all seen this before on my channel. You guys know I'm obsessed with it. It is the Hank and Henry Candy Apple. It is his liquid, it's the Lip Aesthetic. It's a matte one. And me, huh? It is my favorite red and liquid lip form, like hands down. Every time I'm like, let me put a red lippy, but it needs to be a liquid lip. This is what I go for. Absolutely love it. Look how vibrant and pretty that shade is. I will admit though, you only need like one real swipe to get op like an opaque application. Do not overdo it because then it gets kind of creepy and funny looking. So you just, you just need to go very light with it. <laughs> It'll work out, trust me. If you haven't tried it, you need to. You need this shade in your life. And I'm not just saying that to say that, like Lord knows, I very rarely say that here on my channel, but this is a lippy that I've been using for the longest time and I would continue to repurchase because it's so pretty. And that's without mentioning the formula is everything, so yeah. And here is the completed look. I like the outcome. The eye, pretty much digging, cause it's still, it's very glam, but it's still very light and like was simple to put together, which is really exciting because I did not want to work really hard to come up with a nice look today. I truly enjoyed filming this video because I got to play around with a handful of brand new products, which first impressions, they were, they were actually really, really good. But you'll only know if they're hands down amazing to me if you see them featured on an ongoing basis here on my channel. But I'd like to hear your thoughts. Let me know down below how your day is going. Let me know down below how you feel about this look. Would you ever have paired like this eye combo together? Because I've never done this combo, but I'm digging it. Chime in down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes out of your day with me. It really means a lot. Make sure you check out the videos that are coming here on screen. There are more unboxings, tutorials, how to's, um, even get ready with me's and vlogs. I know you're gonna absolutely love. And I'll see you guys over there. Bye guys.